live from Interstate 81. Again, somewhere in the vicinity of Dickerson, Dixon City, Pennsylvania. You know who it is. In case you don't, I'll just have to say it. Frank the Lunatic. What a rat. Construction season is now here. Yippee yo ki yay. It's so great how construction happens, especially when you compare the different areas. For example, the Scranton area versus us Hicks. When paving projects go on up in Wayne County, they bevel the road. First of all, people are probably familiar with that they cut down the road to cut down the layers of blacktop all the way down to like, I don't know, original layers or something like that, okay? And up by us, they bevel it. So it's like a little ramp. So you can drive and slow down a little bit and go over it with no problem. But not in the wonderful Scranton area. Apparently contractors and the city don't know that that little like two to three inch bevel can fuck the shit out of your car. You're, you're driving and all of a sudden, bam, you drop down. Then it's, and then bam, you're back up again. And you can't slow down too much. Why? Because the dildo with ears that's riding in the car behind you is riding your ass through the entire paving zone. How delightful. I always start to wonder, well, why the hell don't they bevel the damn road so you don't hit them hard? But then once you drive around the Scram, Pennsylvania area, you come to realize why. Because there's 865,932 body shops and garages. No, really, seriously, there are. Everywhere you look, I mean, not even regular sized ones like Pep Boys and that. I'm talking about people running businesses out of their freaking garage that they don't even use anymore. No joke, seriously. Everywhere you turn around is some little pathetic homemade sign on something saying, like, Bob's Garage. Really? But that's because these places don't really have to be licensed or anything, in a sense. Unless you're doing inspections. It's amazing. You go and... You know, like 8,000 of these places are there to, to rip you the hell off. Because none of them really know what they're doing. Well, I was a mechanic back when I was 17. I worked on my dad's 1971 Buick Riviera. I changed the oil. That's my qualifications. No, oh, really. That's how some of these people are. But everywhere you look, I've seen body shops in the Scranton area that you drive by it's like, really? <laughs> what do you fix? Half the car at a time? But that's just how it is. I'm convinced they're all in cahoots with each other to keep the... They, they do this on purpose to keep these places in business. You hit these things and eventually you break your ball joints and everything else and you can't go after the city. No, we can't have that. They're not responsible. They're the ones who dug up the road, tore it up, and fucked it up. But you get to pay the price. Welcome to wonderful Scrotum, Pennsylvania. No, really, it is. Our bit of a nation. So in conclusions, my friends, it is construction season. Stay the hell away from the area. Unless you want to keep putting new front ends on your freaking car at least twice a year. I'm Frank the Lunatic, and I approve this message. Because sure as hell nobody else is. Now, my friends, is all I have to say about that. Birthday card, birthday card.
Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good.